All right, hello and welcome to another Mr. Pisto Plays Magic the Gathering Arena Brawl session. We have Vivian on the hunt, six mana, four loyalty planeswalker. This was my number one choice for my favorite planes or uh, commander of the whole set, uh, Birthing Pod. The card way back in the day was one of my favorite cards ever printed. I love the deck. It hurt me so much when they. Uh, uh, ban the deck in modern, but I understand why. Uh, it's plus two, does what Birthing Pod did. So you sacrifice a creature, search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to one, plus the sacrificed creature's mana value, put it on the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Plus one, mill five cards, and put any number of creature cards milled this way into your hand. So it's a very I built this a very creature sensor deck. I've seen it being built in a token centric deck using the minus one ability of making a 4 4 rhino. But when we look at our deck here, um, we want a nice, like, we, I call it, we call it a pod curve, but here it's a Vivian curve. We have three one drops with a Ascendant Pack Leader, just Bear Sentinel, Tajur Knight, or Light Blade. The twos, Gala Greeters. Capitec Wrecker, Lotus Cobra, Masked Vandal, Outlet, uh, Outland Liberator. I'm not going to go over all of them. I think the most important space in this deck as one of the win conditions is going from a three. One of our threes into um, Uvenwald Oddity when we have a decent amount of mana uh, built up so that you can flip it, transform it right away, and then just smash. So going after you've kind of built up your board, going from a three to the Uvenwald Oddity with the mana on board is quite powerful. We have five non-creature spells in the deck. We have Blizzard Brawl for fighting something. We have Stink Skin Veil to save our creature. Another fight spell or bite spell with uh, Devouring Tendrils. We have another bite spell with Master's Rebuke, Instant Speed. And then we have Arcane Signet as a little bit of ramp. So this is my Ravine on the Hunt deck. I hope you like it. Let's get into a few games and start beating people up. Mm, oh, we got two big, big creatures in here. Um, up against what I'm assuming is probably a fairly low to the ground style of deck. I think that's how Falca Spara probably fits the best. Just uh, bant counters. We can keep this one. One into two. I think this is our best. It's guaranteed. Yep. So we do is this not that it really matters into this uh, green this and I think let's just blow up that and no attacks So we're going to Vivian. We don't really have a good Vivian target at this point. Oh, we caught them off blue. I guess we're not going to Vivian. What's with Curse of the Silence? That was a good draw. This turns all of our creatures into one mana. Going to do this. We'll do a white. 
I think we're just going to eat this right away. Well, that works too. All right, on the game number two. Mm, it'd be nice if we had some more mana, but I think we'll keep. Can we out run the mono red deck? Let's find out. Want to trade your two for my one? Nice. We're going to do this. Because if it survives and we don't draw land, we can... Use its ability. This little candle's gonna set your world on fire. Ow. You are lucky this is a land. Mmm. Pokey pokey. I think. Or do we just return this? I kind of want to return. No, no, no attacks. And if we draw, we can. We have Hasty Boy here. Or Hasty Creature. I should say. It says two more plus ones. Let's bring things up to Ooh. I think we might get out aggroed here. Although this could gain us some life next turn, which would be nice. Although... Ow! I'm pretty sure we're just dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead. I can kill this. Well, we're not just dead, but we're very close to dead. We can double, double block the thunder Raiju. And then... Aww, you're looking a little singed. Do this. Gaining us that life is huge here. Oh no! Quake bringer, no life gain for us. Ow! We animate bugbear and win. Right? Nope. <laughs> this game is done. Game is over. Game over, man. Game over. Lock the quick bringer and die. All right, on a game number three. Mm, 
sure. So this is either Demir Rogues or Namir Ninjutsu's, whichever. They're both pretty good. Probably Ninjutsu or Ninjas. Would be my best guess. Counter spell. Haste. Oh. Another. You play it because it's available, but I don't like its design at all. Okay. Faceless Haven, just in case we want to attack with it. Interesting, playing all the... those kinds of... Really? All right, here comes a ninjutsu. Nope. Maybe it is just a control. your face I think I just jam a six five Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't see that card played all that often. Five mana, scry five, draw three. That's pretty good. Four on the bottom. That's good for us. They're at seven. Watch out. I'm on the, hunt. the plus one in this is the draw a pretty good amount of cards because we only have everything as creatures, but our lands and five spells. The fact that they got no value out of that blood on the snow feels good. But they have a mitt full of cards. Now, what do we have here? They paid the student cost. 
They are all basics. We've got to have counter spells. No. Test for talents. Go ahead, look at the deck. Like, what? Why? There's so many better counter spells than test for talents. Hey, it's a non basic land. Do that. Okay. All right, you can only counter so many things. I guess I could have played that pre-combat But I didn't And that's probably game over now Yeah, we're done. All right, let's move on to the next one. So we got some time All right, are we going to get ran over? Again by mono red. Let's find out uh, We're going to keep this as a ramp spell All right, so one two three e e e. Hmm. Let's go find some lands Maybe I should have killed Magda. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. B aggressive B E aggressive I guess this is a treasure too so it counts towards whatever that is this is a permanent right yeah I have five mana now. But they're staring down a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4, four, four, which is going to change. 
because I will pod that away with Vivian if it stays, if it's allowed to live. Dwarf? Well, it's a pretty good attacker right now. Honestly? Mm. I think I'm just gonna make a, a token. Um, that's something I want to go find later. What do I want to draw now? I oh, will draw it now. Knowing that's on top, I probably just want to make a 4-4. Four -four. So now they can sacrifice this to add two mana. It's a dwarf. Hmm, cool. Bergy. All right, we're going to play the land. We're going to play this. Mm, let's make a gobbo. Ship. It's a lot of tokens. Um, you may be bad, but we're big. All right, do your worst. Sure. Get your dailies done and scoop. I guess they can get a dragon now. Uh, that goes there. You get the double strike dragon that goes there. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways we can win. Uh, let's do it this way. All right, we got there. Let's talk about the deck and then we can call our video. All right, Vivian on the hunt. We really get, didn't get to chain much with Vivian, but we did see how... Someone getting mana screwed in game one kind of got us the win. And then and against Magda, we just outran outran them. Uh, but the trust me with the plus two, I think this curve of creatures is very solid. Uh, I guess that's really the only thing that um, you could either cut some of the creatures. Like I was a very, I built a very creature heavy version of Vivian. Uh, someone else that I saw... Uh, made a token deck so they were running um like the remnant of the or i mean junga defends the temple uh shoot swarm uh, Essica's chariot consuming blob uh invoke the ancients we're running seven so you could go that route you could play the creature token style and uh just 
utilize the minus one your chain of the plus two well you're kind of ignoring the two pluses um in that case because when you chain a, uh, a token you kind of need to chain it into a uh, one drop of some kind to get the chain going so uh i think that is another way you could try and build vivian but i do think trying to put together a chain is uh your best uh bet for the deck so anyways i hope you enjoyed have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world from mr pisto you stay safe bye for now